But uh, this is the wrath of George Bush, and this was um, this wrath of George Bush was commissioned uh, by my French gallerist. Um, I feel that um, in my case, I couldn't live without a connection with uh, a sense of, of purpose in life. I mean. Uh, I have no idea how people can live with uh, feeling that they're living in life and um, they're going to die someday and they just can't connect with uh, something that is intangible. Uh, and I think maybe that's a failure in um, desire or imagination, I don't know. Uh, this is uh, George Bush and he has around his head a corona of lights representing his uh, small ideas and uh, he's uh, holding an American flag but he's kind of in a, kind of a cell phone position. Um, his hand is on the breast of Congolese rice. Of course I vote because uh, uh, in a democracy a person's vote is, is their greatest responsibility. That's what people live for, die for and uh, it's our chance um, to basically change uh, the government and be heard. And it's a precious thing. Anyone who doesn't vote is, for me, um, a very, very sad individual. Uh, above George is his uh, mother, Barbara, who is um, basking in the sun of, his, uh, of her son's great success, supposedly, uh, in the Republican mentality. Um, Colin Powell, uh, is nude, but with um, epaulets, and he's tapping George on the shoulder because he senses there is commotion on the other end of the raft. In the United States, anyone can do anything, progress to, to any place, and I don't find that in any country that I've ever visited, and I didn't even know. Um, there's a sense that anything can happen, but uh, any time to happen, you need courage, and you need uh, hindsight, and you need uh, hopefulness, and I think a lot of that has been uh, removed by um, um, the philosophy, I guess, that people don't come first, money comes first, and uh, that's the sad part. When people come first, uh, everything changes. Uh, Rumsfeld is, is pictured here holding glasses and he's uh, defeated by the war. Um, above Colin Powell's a kind of combination of a, a theocrat, we'll say, uh, who is uh, giving a blessing or perhaps oral sex to a sailor. Consumer society, we have less and less <coughs> things made here and we're a service economy. Uh, and if you want to be a servant, you can get into the service economy. But if you want to be a true uh, individual living in a democracy, you have to be passionate about uh, the purpose of life, history, uh, your contribution to, to life. And it doesn't matter what country you're living in, uh, so long as uh, I believe a person is, is um, blessed with a desire to help other people, and, and to live a good and kindly life. And uh, the most important figure here is Dick Cheney, who is in drag, he's wearing a bra, and his arms around Lynn, and um, that represents the, the kind of, that drag represents the kind of um, escapist, uh, anything that to win mentality that uh, basically Cheney promotes and, and it correlates to the people, the men on the Titanic who dress in drag to, to save themselves. And um, it's, I've always worked um, uh, in, in political aspects because of, of the social um, areas I engage in my work, but in this case uh, it was very, very important for me uh, as an American to see uh, during this administration the degradation of um, the American public, 
the American uh, sense of confidence and uh, uh, the basically the, the falling out of, of many, many things that uh, uh, we cherish. We are basically conducting a war, an invasion of a, uh, a free country uh, where occupies that country and yet we didn't learn from Vietnam at all. And um, uh, it's a terrible, terrible situation that uh, we have a, not a presidency, but uh, a, a monarchy. Uh, and the trickle-down economic thing is very, very ruinous. And uh, I travel a great deal, and uh, I, I can only tell you that, um, especially now, I'm basically ashamed to be an American. But uh, I think that will it'll, we'll get over this, uh, regardless of who the next president's going to be. Hopefully it'll be... Uh, Obama, uh, that uh, will basically, we're a young country and we've made some terrible mistakes, including this one with the worst president we've ever had. And uh, hopefully I'm, I'm optimistic.